In a 3D tool, you know, we have a brush tool uh, selection for creating pin and the meshes. The first tool is select mesh tool. If you click it, a brush tool will be cre uh, created here and you can click and drag and brush the meshes in a 2D and a 3D if you want. Here you can change the strengths. For example, if we have full strengths here, you can click and drag with roughly <clears throat> with your brush and select some meshes in 2D and 3D. Okay, you can select it in 3D if you want. If you, for example, click and drag here, and if you want to add your brush here, you can hold shift and click and drag. If you want delete and hold uh, uh, control and click and drag. Okay. And here we can select some meshes. And here you can change the size of the brush. And here you can change the uh, focal, as you can see in a 3D. In a 3D, the, as I said before, in a first circle, is a 100% of that brush, and it's go to the border to the zero. Okay, and okay, if if we select a brush, now what can I do it? If, if we in a brush mode, if you right click in 3D on a uh, 2D, we have another other. Um, if you select it. As you can see, if you want to cancel it, you can. I want to go to the mesh menu here. And for example, uh, I want uh, this part of the um, pattern more uh, meshes. So for example, here, as you can see, we have uh, in this <coughs> part, we have um, a few mesh. Uh, I don't want to change the particle distance or whole pattern just i want to add some more meshes here so for doing that you have to go to the select brush mesh or select with a box it's very easy for example you want to select as a box you can click and drag it and select these this meshes these meshes here okay you can with click click and drag or you can select with a lasso. You can uh, click and drag it and select this part that you want. Okay. I want to this part uh, more quality. Use brush. Okay. Use brush and I want to this part of the classes just more quality. If you right click, you can subdivide it meshes there. As you can see, if uh, we cancel it and go to the mesh menu, uh, as you can see, we have more meshes here. It's subdivided uh, these meshes in the two, and we have more quality of mesh and better simulation. This is first usage of the uh, selected mesh. If you go to the selection mode, if you right click, we have another uh, tool. So you can reset it and bring it back. Okay, another thing that is interesting, you can create pin. Okay, if you want to create pin, you can directly go to the pin brush and pin some. The pin is locked that area and does not uh, go in a simulation. As you can see, if you go back to your, uh, as you can see, you cannot, uh, in a simulation, you can uh, select, click and drag pin. But if you let it go, it does not fall down or something. It's pinned there. But you can uh, click and drag and select pin. And we have an uh, interesting example of these pins in a project. For deleting pin, control W. Don't forget it. Control plus W, you can delete the pins. Okay. And... You can pin lasso if you want somewhere. It's in a 2D, you can pin this part. Uh, if you hit, uh, uh, if you want to add a pin holding uh, shift, you can add a pin. For deleting pin holding control and click and drag, you can <clears throat> delete pin that part. But if you hit control W, it's um, deleted all the pin of the scene. So, 
Uh, another thing in uh, selected meshes is, oh, as you can see, uh, 3D. You can't right click. If you want to right click in a 2D, you have to select a brush because we are in a tool and you can now right click in 2D or 2D, it does not differ. Create pin, you can freeze it. You can freeze it or solidify. It's make the uh, cl uh, closes in that part harder. Solidify. And if you go to the simulation, as you can see, we have a more thickness of this part. This is a solidify. I'll give you more example of solidify, but as you can see, we can, in a solidify, it's really simple. Here we can move it to see closest very easy, but in this part, we cannot it's solidify. For example, if you want to create a box, bag, a pack, anything that you want, you can use a solidify. It's a very um, hard and harder uh, pattern than this software. This isn't solidify, it's very easy. And uh, here you can unsolidify or unsolidify R if you write clearly. It's very easy, you can go back anytime that you want. And if you go to the mesh, as you can see, okay. So the benefit of selection is to create a pin and select them and then right click, solidify, freeze them, create pin. And the most important thing is subdivide it. For example, if one part of the, your colossus is you need to more movements and more quality for simulation, but you don't want to uh, give all subdivided meshes to all pattern. Instead, in one small area of your pattern, you can select them, right click and subdivide. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.